What's up everybody? Welcome back to Horsepower Obsessed. Thank you so much for pressing play. Today we are going to talk about the C8 Corvette, some of the hybrid versions coming, and ultimately the C8 Corvette Zora. Before we get started guys, if you could be so kind to give me a big thumbs up on this particular video, I would really appreciate it. YouTube uses thumbs ups to kind of help circulate this video so everybody will see all of the C8 Corvette news. It is also a gigantic help to my channel. I would really appreciate if you guys could give me a big thumbs up. And while you're at it, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you are always up to date on the C8 Corvette news. All right guys, so just yesterday I came across an article over on autoevolution.com and it was talking about the 2025 Corvette Zora and what they know so far about the hybrid flagship C8. Now that article by itself was kind of interesting because we haven't heard a lot about the Zora. Even the Z06 has been kind of dead news lately but right after I saw that I saw another article pop up on corvetteblogger.com talking about the fact that somebody actually filmed some of the C8 hybrids testing in the wild out in California. Now, for those of you who don't know, there is a good chance that there is an electric model that is going to replace the Grand Sport moniker in the C8 Corvette lineup. And it is very likely to be called an E-Ray. So instead of a Grand Sport, we're gonna get an E-Ray car, which is going to give us a lot of the Z06 look with a more hybrid approach to the performance. Now that by itself is kind of interesting, but I've already talked about that in another upload. I will link that to the top right of this upload if you're interested in hearing more about it, but that's not what we're here to talk about. So the fact that these cars were seen testing in California tells me we're getting closer to an actual release for a hybrid C8 Corvette. Why that matters is because GM is going to kind of give us this in a staged approach, very similar to how they did with even the C7 Corvettes, and that means they're going to start small. So with the E-Ray, we're getting a hybrid approach to the C8 Corvette, and naturally that same technology is going to be used later in the C8 Corvette Zora. Now, what I think is really interesting about this whole thing is that the AutoEvolution.com article talks about the Zora, the fact that it's coming in 2025, but what they mention is something I haven't heard mentioned before for the Zora, and that is that it's going to have more than just one hybrid motor. So the Auto Evolution article talks a lot about the background of why this car is going to be called a Zora, what it stands for, what it's gonna do, but it's later in the article it starts to get into the nitty gritty stuff. So about three fourths of the way through, it starts talking about the fact that most of its power will be delivered by a brand new V8 currently in development. But the no emission part will come courtesy of at least two electric motors for a total output of over a thousand horsepower. Now you guys know we've talked about the Zora before and that 1000 horsepower number is always what is being talked about. So it has never strayed away from that thousand. It has always been a thousand even since before the C8 Corvette base was out. So this car is definitely going to have a thousand horsepower. It's been talked about for way too long for anything else to be released at this point. And and the fact that Auto Evolution is talking about a thousand horsepower again, it just basically solidifies. Like this is going to be a 1000 horsepower car, there's no doubt about it. But what's really interesting is that they talk about the fact that there's gonna be more than one hybrid motor. We've talked about the fact that the hybrid C8 Corvette is coming forever now, it seems, but every one of the rumors always talk about just one hybrid motor driving the front wheels that's going to add an additional 150 to 200 horsepower. This is the first time I'm seeing someone talking about it being more than one motor. Now this is very interesting considering I just got done driving an Acura NSX courtesy of my friend Pat from Pat's Garage Online. And why that's interesting is because the NSX has three hybrid motors and this kind of sounds similar. It sounds like they're going to do more of an NSX approach to this versus just one giant hybrid motor driving the front wheels. And before we continue guys, I wanted to mention the sponsor of today's video, which is again, Ridge Wallet. As you can see here, I have a couple different wallets in front of me. One of them is carbon fiber, forged carbon, and the navy blue metal option on the ZR1 carbon fiber spoiler. The Ridge Wallet will fit up to 12 cards, which includes debit, credit, and your driver's license or identification cards. As you can see, this is my personal wallet. It has 
11 cards in it. So I've had a couple requests from you guys about how this particular wallet works with the card functionality. So if you look at the area right here where you can push your thumb up into, you can actually release the cards like that and then pinch it at the bottom and it will fan all your card options out. Select whatever card you want, use it, put it back, and then you can just push them all right back down in just like that. It helps eliminate some of the stuff that we carry around in our wallets as guys that we don't really need and it keeps it nice and streamlined and more up to date if you're interested in any of these guys i will put the information down in the description below as well as on the screen here you can even save yourself 10 percent just for being a horsepower obsessed fan but anyway let's get on with the show let's talk a little bit more about the corvetteblogger.com article so it was actually a user called jbs blown c5 that caught some of the hybrid corvettes testing this is not his his first time seeing this either so in the area that he lives in california apparently they do a lot of testing up there and corvetteblogger.com is pretty sure that these are not z06 corvettes that they're actually the hybrid model which is likely coming very soon and it's going to be gm's way of testing the hybrid functionality of these cars before going and shoving it in the thousand horsepower zora model like i said so as you can see in these pictures there is at least three heavily camouflaged C8 Corvettes along with a hardtop convertible C8 Corvette that is completely uncovered. The three in the front are said to be wide body cars implying the fact that they are borrowing the body from the Z06, but the Corvette blogger and myself as well think that the Z06 is going to have some sort of center exhaust. We've seen that pictured before. Very likely that that's what the Z06 is going to come with. And that tells us these three wide body cars in these pictures are not Z06s. They are very likely the hybrid models that are coming right after or possibly even right before the Z06. The Corvette blogger says that we also note that the exhaust outlets are on the corners, so we are not convinced these are the Z06 prototypes, which we think will have a dual exhaust pipe center mounted as has been previously spied. The other explanation is that these could be the rumored hybrid E-Rays, which is the model expected to be released in 2023. So it definitely seems like we are in C8 hybrid mode at this point, and like I said, these being tested are definitely giving us a nice glimpse into what Chevy is going to do with the C8 Zora. Now, JBS Blown C5 is the one that saw these, and he actually wrote, Just under two years ago, I got a hot tip that the base model C8s were testing in the mountains where I live. Well... It happened again yesterday. And then he gave us some video clips. Now, hopping back over to autoevolution.com where they're talking more about the C8 Corvette Zora, they go on to say that it is codenamed an LT7. The 5.5 liter V8 is apparently based on the Cadillac's 4.2 liter black wing engine. Now, this is something else we've talked about a lot in the past. Apparently, a lot of the engine setup in the C8 Corvette Z06 and up is based on that Cadillac 4.2 liter black wing engine. And it's been something talked about since the base C8, again, wasn't even out yet. Now they go on to say that that 5.5 liter V8 is going to resort to twin turbocharging to deliver around 700 horsepower and a massive 875 pound feet of torque. Despite its LT moniker, the mill has almost nothing in common with the latest generation small block overhead valve push rod engine family from GM, which includes the LT2. Instead, the Zora's V8 is part of a new family of dual overhead cam engines that will also include the LT6, which is a naturally aspirated flat plane crank version of this LT7. Auto Evolution goes on to say that despite the Zora model being all wheel drive, the V8 will exclusively power the rear wheels while the front axle will get power from two electric motors, one for each wheel. Situated smack in the middle of the car, a next generation Altium battery with a capacity of around 10 kilowatt hours will supply enough juice for up to 31 miles of emission free electric driving. The funny bit is that Zora will therefore be the first front wheel drive Corvette in history when in electric drive mode but those motors will be there mainly for providing the model with neck snapping acceleration in any gear first and foremost so let's not focus on the electric part too much auto evolution says that this model will definitely have a top speed of 200 plus miles per hour the corvette zora will mainly be about track domination just as pretty much all corvettes have been recently and not necessarily lay in speed records. They go on to say that the zero to 60 time is expected to be under 2.5 seconds. 
That's absolutely insane. The 0 to 60 on the base model C8 now is totally crazy. So if we're actually under 2.5, it is literally gonna feel like getting shot out of a cannon. Auto Evolution continues on by saying design-wise, despite featuring a similar mid-engine layout as the C8 Corvette it's partly based on, the Zora will have its own look. Don't expect any plastic bits inside the cockpit either. It's probably gonna have carbon fiber and space age materials to infuse both its chassis and two passenger cockpit. So not anything too unsimilar from the C7. The ZR1 was kind of the same thing. It had its own specific look. It looked very different from all the rest of the C7 Corvette lineup, but at the same time, it was unmistakably Corvette. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to do it. I just thought it was pretty interesting that the Corvette blogger and the Auto Evolution website both decided to put out an article similar, but at the same time, totally different, talking about the hybrid functionality of the C8 Corvette. And there's a lot of dots we can connect along the line here to have the new hybrid C8 Corvette show us something about the new upcoming C8 Corvette Zora. But let me know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below, does this information from Auto Evolution sound like something that the Zora might actually get? This is the first time we've heard about the two hybrid motor setup thing. I wanna know what your opinions are. Is that something that you think is gonna happen? Let me know down below. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. So if you liked what you saw, please give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions about the content, let me know in, let me know in the comment section down below or shoot me an email, horse.power.obsessed at gmail.com, and I'd be happy to answer anything you may have for me. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. I have loads of C7 and C8 Corvette content coming you are not going to want to miss. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next upload.